Like most holidays this spring, your Cinco de Mayo celebration may look a little bit different than last year, but that doesn't mean we can't have delicious food. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner joins us live with Maria's home-style Mexican food this morning, and I can only imagine how good it smells because it has been looking absolutely delicious. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa. You are 100% right. It smells so good in here and I'm so excited to actually finally kind of be in person and do some taste testing throughout the morning, but it is definitely a spread you're not gonna wanna miss out on. That's why I'm here with Maria Carpenter Rodriguez. And okay, Maria, we have done everything from salsa to guacamole to tacos. And I wanna start with the tacos because this was a really simple recipe that people can do today for yep. Cinco de Mayo. Yep. You just go get some chicken. It can be breast or thighs. and. Um, I call it chicken picadilla. Um, all the word picadilla means is small pieces or tidbits. Um, so everything in it is just like that. Ch chop your chicken up into little pieces. Chop some onion, a pepper of your choice. I chose Anaheim for today. You can do um, jalapeno or serrano if you want to add some spice to it or poblano for some mild roasted flavor. And, um, saute it, season it up with some chicken bouillon, but if you use this, do not use salt and some pepper and garlic. And two, I love that you uh, grilled your tortillas. Yes, we toast them on um, a cast iron grill and you gotta use two tortillas <laughs> when making your tacos so it doesn't all fall apart on them. Yeah, yeah, and then, okay, guacamole is my go-to. I love it more than salsa and I will even admit, I love it more than queso. And yours, I love that you pureed the jalapeno and the onion. I put okay. it with just a little bit of water and you uh, just puree it and it's a great way to um, brighten the color, hide the onion, and add a lot of flavor to it. And then you have the pits in there too. Yes, we keep the pits in there so that it um, slows down the process of the air oxygenizing the guacamole so it doesn't turn brown on you. And then salsa, we gotta talk about that real quick. Yes, tomatillos and um, onion and any pepper of your choice, depending on what spice level you want and uh, just roast them or boil them and then puree them with your seasonings. I love spicy. So she said jalapenos and I was sold. I just, I love spicy food. And this is just perfect to celebrate single day Mayo today. Super simple, super easy. Things you can get right away to create that fiesta. I like spicy food too. Abby Furchner reporting live for us this morning. Thank you. <laughs>